Hey my good friends, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. In the garage today is the 2022 Kia Sportage Hybrid. So we're going to do a complete underhood tour outlining all the major technical components as well as the maintenance service points. For 2023, the Kia Sportage Hybrid is an all-new offering with a 1.6 liter direct injected turbocharged four-cylinder engine. The gasoline engine itself has 177 horsepower and 195 pound-feet of torque. Sandwiched between the engine and its conventional six-speed automatic transmission is a pancake-shaped electric motor assembly with 59 horsepower and 195 pound-feet of torque. The two of these together can produce a combined 227 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque. It's available with front-wheel drive, which has an EPA rating of 42 miles to the gallon city, 44 highway, and 43 mpg combined. There's an optional all-wheel drive, such as our tester, which has 38 mpg city, 38 highway, and 38 combined. Also under the hood is a belt-driven starter motor generator which starts the engine and can generate power to the battery system. The Kia Sportage Hybrid features a 64 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery pack located under the second row seats which combines the functionality of a conventional 12 volt battery within its assembly. So you won't find a conventional 12 volt battery under this hood. Following the airflow, the intake charge starts at the top rear of the radiator and flows through a snorkel to a conventional air filter box. From there, it travels back to the rear of the engine through a tube to the throttle body mounted directly adjacent to its water-cooled turbocharger. Once through the turbo, the boosted air then travels up to the front of the engine bay to an air-to-air -air intercooler which sits vertically beside the radiator, and then back up to a composite plastic intake manifold at the front of the engine. From there, it goes directly into the combustion chambers which feature four valves and variable valve timing. You can see the four spark plug coil packs atop the engine. Because this has direct fuel injection, most of the fuel hardware is hidden below the plastic valve cover assembly. Routine maintenance on the Kia Sportage Hybrid is relatively identical to that of any normal gasoline-powered vehicle. Caution is to be taken with all of the orange wiring harnesses and their connections as they are high voltage, not really user serviceable. Accessing the air filter is easy. Simply pop a few clips at the top of the air box at the passenger side of the engine compartment to get in and replace it. Windshield washer fluid is found just ahead of it with a bright blue cap. Checking the oil can be done directly at the top of the engine with or without the sound cover pulled off, notable by the bright orange dipstick at the front cover. To fill the oil, you must remove the sound cover by simply snapping it off and under it, you'll see the black oil cap to the left. There are two coolant reservoirs. One is for the hybrid power system, which can be found at the front of the engine compartment atop the transmission. The one located closer to the firewall is the main coolant reservoir for the engine. Both use the same fluid. Brake fluid can be checked at the firewall at the reservoir mounted atop its electronic brake control unit. Though it's not user serviceable, the main engine computer or ECU can be found between the two coolant tanks, the main fuse box located at the right of it, along with the jumping post. There you go. Pretty simple for a hybrid vehicle, very conventional in a lot of its makeup. Maintenance very easy. I think the main thing is the fact that you're not going to find a conventional 12 volt battery anywhere in this vehicle. It's all part of a combined battery pack assembly under that rear seat. There is the jumping post there under, so you can jump other vehicles if you need to. Um, but there's a process for actually dealing with that battery that you really need to check into your owner's manual to get a handle on. That said, we do have a test drive of this vehicle. You can see that right there. Better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel right there. Either way, stay tuned.